Gassy's camera didn't rewind. And guess who opened the back of the camera thinking it had? So we're gonna take that to the camera shop. Did you just see the color of the bus go past me? Do you remember that from my old flat? I'm currently staying at my neighbor's flat, which is below my old flat. The bedroom is actually below my old bedroom. And when the current tenants walk around upstairs, all the floorboards sound the same. They've still got the same wardrobe. I can hear the doors shut in the same tone, in the same cadence that they shut when I lived there. After we've attempted to retrieve these photos, we're going to a gig. hoping she'll play and tell pretend you haven't seen the set list. It's like you know when you read the end of a book yes. and you're like I've ruined this for myself. <laughs> What's your favourite song? I like a lot of them. Oh Drowning would be nice. Gemini? It's quite great. Gemini feed. Yeah, yeah I could do I some think, Gemini feed. I think um, my favourite song is Contaminated. Oh I but love Contaminated. Oh, doesn't play. Oh, what? <laughs> I hate this. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> Um, is the bubble ice cream? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. It tastes like the It tastes like the round. Yeah. 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 That crunching you can hear is Anishka eating her biscuits. I just need some vegetables. I really haven't been eating that well. I'm feeling a bit displaced. It feels really strange to be living out of a suitcase. I thought I'd have adapted better, but it's fine. I know it's temporary. I'm really grateful that we have this flat that we can stay in. Nadia and Andrew, who are the parents of Anushka the cat, are away. The timing just coincided perfectly. So we're here for two and a half weeks. We've already had a week and a half. <laughs> And it's been so nice when we get to look after Anishka, which is just amazing. And then the house stuff is coming along okay. Hopefully we'll be in soon. Oh, with any luck, with any luck. I spoke to my mum on the phone today and she was like, I thought you'd find it more challenging than you were expecting. She said, I know how much you like your home comforts. And she's right, I love having a base. The first week we moved out, we stayed in three different places and I found that really hard. I think I find it hard being a guest as well in someone's home. I never want to overstep. I always want to help, but like everyone's got different expectations and ideas of what being a good guest is. And I always worry that I'm just gonna overstep. I really enjoy the content of people who don't have a base and they're traveling and living in different places. And it's so exciting. And I thought I'd be able to adapt just fine. I just didn't think anything of it, but actually I'm finding it really challenging to film and shoot anything right now. But I really wanna get myself out there and really push myself to do it because I think I really want to look back at this time and have it documented. And you might wanna see it as well, I don't know. A lot of the time what stops me is fear. And I've learned in my 27 long years of life that I just need to push through the fear. I just, just need to do it. If it makes me uncomfortable, it's probably good for me. Character building. I think Jack's out this eve. And when I've got a night in, I tend to just watch a film. I think I'm gonna watch Uncharted. It's new on Sky Cinema. And it's got Tom Holland in it. Love Tom Holland. Right, I'm gonna eat my little dinner. Can we just admire Nadia and Andrew's house and their bowls? All of their crockery is just gorgeous. Nadia is an incredible interior designer. I'll link her Instagram below, but you can hire her if you're in London or further out actually. I know she works a bit further out too. God, I'm excited for some veg. Ah, oh, and finally, I've started eating gluten again. I don't wanna to talk too much about it yet because it's been like four days. I don't know yet what the sitch is, but basically I accidentally ate gluten twice in a row recently and didn't react. So I then just went in and had a croissant and I was fine. And now I'm like, what is going on with my body? While I haven't been eating that much veg, it's actually been fine. So I wonder if I have a fiber issue instead of um, a gluten issue or if my allergens have just calmed down since I stopped drinking, which was big for information. I'm gonna go sit on the sofa and I'm gonna watch Uncharted. I will let you know how it is. You may not believe it, 
but it is a new day. So last night we watched Uncharted and I really enjoyed it. It's like, right, don't get me wrong, Tom Holland steals the show. He's just so good at being an adventuring American. And it turns out basically he loves the games. So Uncharted is based on a video game of the same name or like a series of video games. And apparently Tom played the games all the way through filming the first Spider-Man film. So he was just so on board with the project and really pushed to get it made. Which I think you can really tell, like you can tell that the people involved really love the film. It's got this like Indiana Jones vibe to it and it was just fun right? It is family friendly fun. And that's exactly what I needed. Jack came home from golf. We shared a pack of Tang Fastics and just chilled with Anushka on the sofa. It was lovely. As you know, I'm part of Sky Cinema Film Club. I review a film every month that is new to Sky Cinema. Every month I get sent a list and actually there's always so much range. So if you're maybe not into action adventure films, there's always going to be something really good. There's also After Yang that really appealed to me. It's like a really thoughtful sci-fi film that came out at Sundance and Colin Farrell stars in it and I'm definitely going to watch that. But if you want to find out any more information about Sky Cinema, I will leave all the info below. There is no light today. It's so dark. I'm actually going to go for a walk. I haven't left the house all day. It's a bank holiday. If I don't move about a bit, I don't sleep very well. So I should really get out of the house. Okay, I'm going to have a walk. I'm looking very autumnal. I finished my work for the day. I haven't really been vlogging my work because for me, it's not interesting to watch people work. It's interesting for me to watch the routine kind of before and after and during their work day. But I have no routine right now. So I haven't really been showing it. So anyway, I can't do much more work today. And I was thinking now's actually a perfect time to go down to the storage space and swap out some of the things that I need for, especially for traveling. I left some travel beauty products in like an easy to access spot. So I'm gonna go and get those. And I'm gonna see if I can get my fleece as well. And maybe some other bits. Cause I packed in such a rush. I'm missing a lot of things. And unfortunately a lot of those aren't actually accessible to me. They're buried deep in the back of the unit. But I think it would be helpful for me to go over, assess what I've got and what I do have access to and switch a few things out. Can I just say, I don't know how this is going to appear in the edit, but with the red pieces of hair and the green and the ne I am, I'm looking very Gilmore Girls. Oh, hello, Anish. What are you up to, huh? And some strokes. once again coming to you from the kitchen. I'm actually gonna do this up. This is my new coat. I'm about to head out. I'm going to pick up some bibimbap with Jack. All I've eaten this week is gluten. This is the reality of finding out you can re-eat something. I had a halloumi wrap from Leon for lunch. And actually, do you know what? There was nothing to miss. I was disappointed. But you know what? It's fine to be disappointed by a halloumi wrap. This morning I went to And Other Stories to go and try on some clothes and I get a little allowance each month, which is so kind of them. And I picked up this coat. This was the only thing, no, that's not true. I picked up a balaclava as well for when it gets cold, cold. But other than that, I just picked up this little coat. It is, I think I've still got the label on it. It's cropped like this. It's a proper M&S style jacket. For those of you that aren't in the UK, Marks and Sparks is an incredible store, but their clothing does often cater to middle-aged women. But it's nice and warm, it's double lined, and I just really love the color. The color goes with everything in my wardrobe at the moment. It's like a grayish brown sage. I'm gonna take it with me to New York. So then I have my disappointing wrap. And then after that, I went to view our flats. I think I can call it our flat now. We haven't exchanged yet, but we're close. The tenants moved out this weekend, so we need to do another viewing just to make sure everything looks fine um, and that they haven't left the place in any kind of state. And it was absolutely fine. There's like nothing in there. And there's a microwave, which is super exciting. I haven't had a microwave the whole time that I've been in London. I'm really, really excited to move in, but I don't want to curse it. So I'm just going to show you a sneak peek of the flat, I'm not gonna show you much. I cannot wait, like it genuinely makes me like so excited in my heart. I can't believe that it's ours potentially. Oh, young Stoke's calling. Hello, I have just sent my bib and back order to Jack. 
hello sorry this might have moved slightly i ran out of space so i had to delete some things on my card on a tangent i put up my flat tour from the previous flat that we just moved out of this week and i thought we were paying an extortionate amount but there are people commenting already saying, wow, this is so reasonable, this is such good value. I've just moved to South London zone two and I'm paying more than each of you are individually paying for a one room in a larger flat share. And that is so sad to me. You should not have to be paying half your wages to live. Literally for a roof over your head, that is just, I don't wanna talk about it too much because it makes me so angry. And I think landlords should be more regulated. Anyway, that's basically it. I've just spent the past two hours mapping out and making a spreadsheet of the potential redecoration, renovation, whatever you want to call it. The things we would love to do to the flat and pricing them up roughly. Again, probably not good for my mental health. I should probably just chill because obviously we'll be saving from scratch for it all. So I wanted to just make a plan. Thank you for listening to me ramble for a really long period of time. Thank you for watching this vlog. And thank you Sky Cinema for working with me on this video. If you would like to learn more about Sky Cinema, I will leave all of the information in the description. I'll also leave a link to where you can watch the trailer for Uncharted. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Anish, do you want to say goodbye? Maybe you say goodbye to Anish as well. Hello. You want to say goodbye? Are you making biscuits for me? Thank you.